Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to BSOD Gaming. This video is a full setup guide for CMU version 1.8.0. The first thing you want to do is right click on your desktop, go to new and create a new folder. Let's call this folder CMU 1.8.0. Let's put this aside for now. The next thing you want to do is download all software that is required to run CMU. All of these links will be in the description. You're going to want to come over to this address and download CMU Herc version 0.4.1.0. Let's save this to our desktop. The next thing you want to do is you want to extract your CMU files to the folder we just created. Once this is extracted, bring your CMU hook file in here. Right click it, click extract all, browse and extract it into the same folder that we just selected. You can now bring this file back out. The next thing you want to do if you already have a previous version of CMU is go to where you have it, come to MLC01 and copy your emulator save folder. You're going to want to come over to your CMU 1.8.0 folder, go into MLC1, delete this emulator save folder and paste the previous one in here. This has now transferred over all of your save data for use with CMU 1.8.0. The next thing we want to do is download the graphics packs for use with CMU 1.8.0. The link to these graphics packs will be in the description of the video. This step is optional however, but I do recommend downloading the graphics packs anyway as they make your games look and play a lot better. In order to use your graphics packs in games, you need to come into this folder, select whichever graphics packs you want, I'm going to select the Breath of the Wild graphics packs, copy them and paste them into the graphics pack folder within CMU 1.8.0. You need to do this with any graphics packs you deem that you want to use. The next thing you want to do is go to the link in the video description that shows the shader cache file and download this file here. You want to copy this file and put it in your CMU folder within Shader Cache Transferable. Paste it right here. OK. The next logical step is getting the games you want to play, updating them and adding the DLC. You will find links to videos that show you exactly how to do this down in the description. Once you have fully downloaded your games, updated them and added the DLC you deem necessary, we are ready to launch into CMU. The next thing we want to do is set up your controller map. Come to CMU Options, Input Settings. Click on Controller 1, click here, Wii U Gamepad, and set it to whichever controller it is you use. Let's set up our bindings now. Once you have done this, click save. We can now exit this screen. Before we launch, let's set up what graphics packs we want to use. For this run through, I'm going to only use the Breath of the Wild 1080p graphics pack. Let's select it, click X, and we are now ready to launch. Let's launch our game. Make sure to enable the GPU fence skip hack. As you can see in the bottom right corner, if you follow the update video correctly, the game version is now 1.2.0 and the DLC version is 1.0. 
and perfect. Our game loaded and is fully working. Cheers for checking out the video guys, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, contact me over on Twitter if you have any questions in regard to any of my videos, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.